Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing gas gangrene, a potentially life-threatening condition caused by bacteria that can invade muscle tissue and lead to rapid tissue destruction. What is gas gangrene? Gas gangrene is a potentially life-threatening bacterial infection that affects the soft tissue, particularly muscles, and causes rapid tissue destruction. The condition is caused by bacteria, most commonly Clostridium perfringens, which can invade the body through a wound or injury. Brief History of Gas Gangrene In fact, it was first described during the Civil War in the 1860s, when doctors noticed that some soldiers who had suffered severe injuries developed a rapidly spreading infection that caused gas to accumulate in their tissues. During World War I, gas gangrene became a significant problem among soldiers who had suffered battlefield injuries. At the time, there were few effective treatments available, and many soldiers died from the infection. In the 1920s, researchers discovered that the bacteria responsible for gas gangrene produced potent toxins that destroyed tissue and caused gas to accumulate within the affected area. Today, while gas gangrene remains a serious condition, advances in medical knowledge and treatment options have significantly improved outcomes for patients. About Causal Agent of Gas Gangrene The causal agent of gas gangrene, Clostridium perfringens, is a gram-positive, anaerobic bacterium that is commonly found in soil and the gastrointestinal tract of animals and humans. Clostridium perfringens is a rod-shaped bacterium that typically measures between 0.5 and 1.5 micrometers in width and 3 to 10 micrometers in length. The bacterium is modal and has flagella, which allow it to move through its environment. The bacterium is also capable of producing a number of extracellular enzymes and toxins, including alpha toxin, which is a major virulence factor in gas gangrene. In addition to its characteristic morphology, Clostridium perfringens can also form spores that are highly resistant to environmental stresses. How gas gangrene transmits? Gas gangrene is typically transmitted through direct contact with contaminated materials or objects, or through the introduction of bacteria into the body through an open wound or injury. The most common mode of transmission is through a penetrating wound, such as a deep cut or puncture wound, that allows bacteria to enter the body. In some cases, gas gangrene may also develop in surgical wounds or other medical procedures that break the skin and allow bacteria to enter the body. Additionally, gas gangrene can sometimes develop as a complication of certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, peripheral vascular disease, or immunodeficiency. It's important to note that gas gangrene is not a contagious condition, meaning it cannot be transmitted from person to person through casual contact. Pathogenicity of gas gangrene. Gas gangrene is a highly pathogenic infection that can cause rapid and severe damage to the body's tissues. The primary pathogenic factor in gas gangrene is the production of several toxins by the bacteria Clostridium perfringens, which can cause significant tissue destruction and contribute to the development of gas pockets within the affected area. One of the most important toxins produced by Clostridium perfringens is alpha toxin, which is a potent enzyme that can destroy cell membranes and disrupt blood flow to the affected area. This disruption of blood flow, along with the production of gas, can lead to significant tissue damage and ultimately lead to tissue death, necrosis. In addition to alpha toxin, Clostridium perfringens can produce a range of other toxins and enzymes that contribute to the pathogenicity of gas gangrene, including collagenase, hyaluronidase, and lipase. The rapid spread of gas gangrene is facilitated by the bacterium's ability to form spores, which are highly resistant to environmental stresses. Once the spores germinate and the bacteria begin to multiply within the host, they can quickly produce large amounts of toxins and enzymes, leading to the rapid spread of infection and tissue destruction. Symptoms of gas gangrene Gas gangrene is a serious and potentially life-threatening infection that can cause a range of symptoms. Some common symptoms of gas gangrene include Severe pain at the site of infection. Gas gangrene typically causes intense pain at the site of infection, which may be out of proportion to the severity of the initial injury or wound. Swelling and redness. The infected area may become swollen, inflamed, and red as the body attempts to fight off the infection. Formation of blisters. Gas gangrene can cause the formation of fluid-filled blisters at the site of infection, which may be accompanied by a foul-smelling discharge. Crepitus. In more severe cases of gas gangrene, gas produced by the bacteria can accumulate within the tissues, causing a characteristic crackling sound, crepitus, when the affected area is touched or pressed. Fever and chills. As with many bacterial infections, gas gangrene can cause fever, chills, and other flu-like symptoms. Rapid heart rate and low blood pressure. 
Severe cases of gas gangrene can cause rapid heart rate and low blood pressure, shock, which can be life-threatening. It's important to note that gas gangrene can progress very quickly, and prompt medical attention is critical in preventing the spread of infection and minimizing tissue damage. How to Diagnose Gas Gangrene Gas gangrene is a severe and potentially life-threatening infection. The diagnosis of gas gangrene requires both clinical and physical examination. Clinical Diagnosis The most common symptoms of gas gangrene include severe pain at the site of infection, swelling, redness, and a foul-smelling discharge. Other symptoms can include fever, chills, nausea, and vomiting. Physical Diagnosis The physician will look for signs of tissue destruction, such as blisters, bully, and crepitus, a crackling sound under the skin. The presence of gas bubbles in the tissue is also an indication of gas gangrene. Imaging Studies X-rays, CT scans, and MRI scans may be used to confirm the diagnosis of gas gangrene and assess the extent of tissue damage. These tests can help identify gas bubbles in the tissue, as well as signs of tissue destruction and swelling. Blood tests. A complete blood count, CBC, can help identify an elevated white blood cell count, which is a sign of infection. Finally, a sample of tissue or fluid from the affected area may be collected and sent to a laboratory for analysis. This can help identify the specific type of bacteria causing the infection and determine the most appropriate course of treatment. What is the treatment for gas gangrene? Gas gangrene is a serious and potentially life-threatening infection that requires prompt and aggressive treatment combination of antibiotics and surgical intervention. Intravenous antibiotics are usually started as soon as possible after diagnosis. Antibiotics effective against Clostridium perfringens, such as penicillin, clindamycin, or metronidazole, are commonly used. Surgery is typically required to remove dead tissue and reduce the number of bacteria present. This may involve debridement which is the surgical removal of dead or damaged tissue, or amputation of the affected limb in severe cases. In addition to antibiotics and surgery, supportive care may also be necessary to manage symptoms and prevent complications. This may include pain management, fluid and electrolyte replacement, and monitoring for signs of organ failure or sepsis. Overall, the treatment of gas gangrene is complex and requires a multidisciplinary approach. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment are crucial to prevent the spread of infection and improve outcomes for affected patients. How to Prevent Gas Gangrene Gas gangrene is a rare but serious infection that can be prevented by taking certain precautions and practicing good hygiene. Here are some tips for preventing gas gangrene. Practice proper wound care. Wounds, especially those that are deep, dirty, or contaminated, should be cleaned and treated promptly to prevent infection. Keep wounds covered with clean, dry bandages and change them frequently. Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially before and after handling wounds or changing bandages. Avoid sharing personal items, such as towels or razors, with others. Avoid tight clothing and footwear. Tight clothing or footwear that restricts blood flow to the limbs can increase the risk of gas gangrene. Wear loose-fitting clothing and comfortable shoes that allow for good circulation. Avoid tobacco use. Smoking and other forms of tobacco use can reduce blood flow and increase the risk of infection and complications from gas gangrene. Quitting smoking can help reduce your risk of developing gas gangrene. Be cautious with surgical procedures. If you require surgery, make sure that the surgical team is using sterile techniques and proper wound care to prevent infection. It should be noted that currently, there is no vaccine available for gas gangrene. The best way to prevent gas gangrene is to practice good wound care and hygiene. Conclusion. Gas gangrene is a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention. Seeking prompt treatment for any signs of infection can help minimize the risk of developing this potentially life-threatening condition. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Stay healthy and safe.